to me, pride is a celebration of that everybody can come together from different backgrounds, different cultures, different traditions, and see that we're not alone in this process of trying to figure out who we are and find others that are like us and find others that accept us for who we are. As I, you know, began to become more uh, confident and connected to my identity, it was really, really important. Uh, pride became really, real, really this phenomenon for me. Um, and then learning about the history of pride and the sacrifices that other members of the community have made, not only as it relates to my LGBTQ identity, but as it relates to my Black identity, how important um, that was. So for me, pride means to sum that all of that up is a montage of communities, identities, really coming together that were, that have been, um, you know, oppressed uh, and not respected and treated less than human and really coming together to fight for those rights those and that equality and then saying, you know, and pretty much making sure um, that they're seen. So um, pride for me is about visibility in every aspect, in every form, in every identity. The human condition is complex. And because of that, and given the fact that many people haven't met people within the community like myself or others, um, it can be difficult. You know, it's something to recalibrate. And during Pride, as we reflect over Stonewall and those people who were at the flashpoints of our freedoms that we still fight for today, we recognize that we have to be patient, but we also have to have the courage to to raise our voices and to say that we're proud of ourselves and to take risks to grow. There's tension in the process as we continue to fight for our rights and to support other marginalized groups within their fights that continue today as well. It is important to remember that this year's Pride Month brought us a major ruling for the LGBTQ community. On June 15th, the Supreme Court ruled on a landmark case, Bostock versus Clayton County, Georgia held. An employer who fires an individual merely for being gay or transgender violates Title VII, which makes it unlawful for any employer to fail or refuse to hire or to discharge any individual because of such individual's race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. When I think of pride, I really think of how it equals to respect how we respect the human being for what, who they are, learning their pronouns, understanding their pronouns, saying their pronouns, despite how you may feel. When we are born, we are not born with biases, right? These are things that we learn, and I'm confident that we can unlearn them. And that's where our role as educators is to really make sure that these messages of inclusion are continuously put forward in the classroom, uh, in, in social media, in media, wherever we are discussing with, engaging the community and discussing with the students, we have to make sure that we, we send that message of inclusion. Mm -hmm.